The next question is about the potential war between the USA and Iran. As known, last week Trump claimed on Twitter that he didn't cancel the order to conduct a strike on Iran, but put it on hold instead. Trump claimed earlier that Washington was ready to strike Iran, but the president abandoned it because of potential victims. He added that he was hoping to avoid this war. The leader of Iran, Khamenei, claimed that he had no intentions in waging a war against the USA, but he will continue to resist Washington. For that matter, a question comes from Yuri, supported by 36 users. Is it right to consider that, on one hand, the country elite aims to draw USA into a major war against Iran, to make Trump fail in oncoming presidential elections, because deaths and other failures could lead to a major public relations disaster. But on the other hand, the same deaths and other potential failures could be used by the global predictor for establishing Iran as a local leader and for burning the USA as the leading state on the global stage. It turns out that a war between the USA and Iran is profitable for everyone for different reasons. That is why it is inevitable. In the forthcoming war, all the players will have different objectives. The war between the USA and Iran is not profitable to anyone. That is why they will do anything to prevent it. Both American country elite and globalists are not interested in a war against Iran. We have to understand that any military conflict, by the way, we have published a big article about war. In that article, these questions are worked out in detail, demands full system readiness in conducting this conflict. American country lead fully understands that the USA will lose its dominating role in the world as a result of a war against Iran. As well as they lose the background of their conflict against Trump, a capability of the USA to parasitize on the world by sucking out resources. They sure don't want that. They want to force Trump out. Why would we bother restoring our economy? We will still be draining all the juice out of countries and people. That is what they want. But imagine the USA starting warfare against Iran. Conditioned by the USA conflicts with everyone. American ships are already targeted here and there. Do you understand what will happen to the USA as a result of that? Everyone will reject them, even their former allies. The capability of the USA to parasitize on the world will fade. That parasitizing is what American country lead does for a living. The whole conflict with chest puffing, performed artificially between Iran and the USA, is connected to only one circumstance. Iran, as a world governance concentration center, is at the embryonic stage, having failed to emerge in time. Note, the Euro-Asian center is being moved from Europe to Iran. The Euro-Atlantic center is being moved from the USA and UK to China. What will the war between the USA and Iran lead to? It will permanently lead to the destruction of Israel. Israel ceases to exist as a state. That is the first. In any case, Israel ceases to exist. But the fact is that any outgoings for Iran are crucial. 
Iran needs to become the leader in the Muslim world, replacing Saudi Arabia by chest puffing. The USA is giving Iran a chance to do so by conflicting with them. Look back at how the USA made a global leader out of Kim Jong-un. There was some backward country out of any equation, a negligible country. And now Kim Jong-un is one of the popular global leaders Trump regularly meeting with. Why? It doesn't really matter if North Korean missiles could possibly hit U.S. soil or at least hit Hawaii, or not, they have to be scared. So Kim Jong-un became the very authoritative leader, and that allows him to conduct the uniting of the two Koreas under the ideological leadership of North Korea. South Korea will provide technologies. The USA, being at the very end of its imperial capabilities, is providing very much the same to Iran. Iran becomes an international authority as a result of confrontation against the USA. Iran has failed before. They should have won against ISIS in Syria. But ISIS fought back hard because ISIS is the irregular army of the USA controlled by American country elite. ISIS refused to give up and retreat to cripple Europe and Russia. Therefore, Russia had to step up and Iran took the back seat. But the situation has to be leveled out. That is why Iran is pushed to be the regional leader, a governance concentration center, at least for the Muslim world. To the crowd, this is shown as Oh, look how brave they are against the U.S. Leaders of both Iran and the USA claimed right, we don't want a war. This is how this circus plays out. As a result of all this, Iran makes a vast step forward catching up with what's been missing to become a governance concentration center of a global level. That was the last question. We come to the issue of understanding the matters, how to understand the interview Putin gave to the Financial Times, how to understand the fact that Putin is being active in global politics in the first place, but domestic politics comes in the second place, or even lower, as many might think. How some countries become leaders in international politics and others fade away. All these questions of governing complex social supersystems are explained in the conception of social safety. I'm asked often, please explain, how do you make your analytics? What is the background of your analytics? What are the conclusions? But you have to understand, if one doesn't know the basics of mathematics, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, it is impossible to teach him or her square roots or anything else, let alone complex mathematical formula. I could spend a whole day explaining a single question to someone, but still fail because he or she lacks basic knowledge and methodology of data processing. That is why I always say, learn the basics. Remember, knowledge is power. Take this power in your hands. Become conceptually powerful. Protect your interests and interests of your family. Expand the scope of your notions. Many are saying that. I'm not stupid, I will understand this. The one doesn't understand the matters not because he or she is stupid, but because we don't understand many things, not because our notions are weak, but because these things are beyond the scope of our notions. If one doesn't have a system in their scope of notions, 
You can't teach them this system before you explain the basics. That is the math of governance explained in the conception of social safety in papers published before June 2018. Study it, master new knowledge, become conceptually powerful, protect your interests and interests of your family. Be happy, peaceful skies over your head. See you next time.